he will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Gaia, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead, in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you? Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. I'd have to leave something else behind. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secret. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? To get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable.
still alive. Good. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. It grew when High Priest Bahavas went missing, and when the true Sun King Itamin was snatched away. It not only grew, but multiplied. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. And he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. No. It wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain, meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Meant to eliminate High Priest Bahavas. Meant to snatch Itaman away. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. Some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings, a pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable if there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then can this cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. 
The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East. To rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, Communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. So you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Faithful. Rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! <laughs> Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else? Proud in broad light of day. Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Huron ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still in view of the power of shadows. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands! Uh, I was in 
built to take a beat in this church either. Fixing the charge again. It's down. 